You join me at the tiny house at 10.30 at night and I do not want to be here right now. However, in order to be able to move in in 22 days, I need to take advantage of every moment that it is not raining. And therefore the fact that I've got 24 hours now with zero rain, I'm really gonna take advantage of that. So the plan for tonight is to get every single flashing tape surround on an outstand completely done and ready. So when it is a nice day, all I have to do is mastic the outstand and lift the skylights into place. And when we get to that stage, this project is going to start flying because then I'm going to be within the house and therefore there is not a single piece of work that I won't be able to do. And also, I might not have mentioned this, the other reason it's really difficult when it rains is because, well, in order to film every single stage of building a house, I obviously need to have a camera and my camera is not waterproof. So that is also making this process of building quite challenging there's a lot of challenges going on at the moment and and i have to admit i am struggling with it but that just means that i'm pushing myself and eventually this level of uncomfort will benchmark and that will become the new norm and it's like tonight i've said to myself that i'm going to get all of this flashing done throughout the night and therefore i'm going to get a head start on the week because this deadline moving in on the 1st of january 2024 that is ludicrous considering the schedule that i've got and then i started to do what i did on the london project where i go do you know what youtube's not the priority all this stuff needs to get done and then i kind of felt myself repeating history where i got to the end of the london project and i was like i never showed all of you lot all of the intricacies and all of the stuff you need to know when you're renovating and developing and so i said do you know what no excuses i'm going to film every single day and upload no matter what and hopefully proves to you lot what i'm saying where yeah i've got quite a lot of experience when it comes to building and i know a fair few things but there's still moments where i'm like wait how am i actually gonna do that and when it comes to building a new build or renovating the most important piece of advice i can give to you is don't try and see a perfect route to get out of the forest just try and aim for the next tree and what i mean by that is think what is the next step that I need to take and then once I've done that step what does that then lead to and then also always keep in mind thinking about knock-on effects if I do this now what's that going to lead to in the future I've also been getting quite a few questions on work ethic and like motivation and all of that stuff and often I don't really know what to say but the one thing that I do know for a fact is motivation is yes it will last about five minutes everyone feels motivated to do something but it's pure discipline and work ethic that actually creates the things that you want like do you think i want to be working from 10 45 until 4 30 in the morning and then sleeping for two hours in my car before i go about my normal work day i was miserable all of last night but what i did feel was a sense of achievement once I had sorted out all of the flashing on every single outstand. And therefore that will allow me to achieve my goal of building this amazing tiny house. And I really do think it is gonna be something special when it's done. And that is what keeps me going. It's just the vision of what it's going to look like. And therefore, if I want to get it to that stage, I've just got to shut up and put in the work. That's most of it, unfortunately. I wish I could tell you there's a get rich quick scheme. There's easy ways to do X, Y, and Z. But the honest truth is it's all just shutting up and putting in the work it really is in almost everything that is what it all breaks down to now this video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal because it was kind of a bit repetitive and i don't want to waste your lot's time it was just hours of heating up the flashing tape to ensure that it's all melted and then going along with a roller to make sure there's no air gaps now as you can see in the footage i only filmed me working on one of the outstands but i can tell you that they are all now ready for the skylights to go in except for the one that has got a damaged skylight still within it because i still need to sort all of that stuff and i thought that moving a damaged skylight around in the dark probably wouldn't have ended well so i will do that in future and then i've also actually got to redo all of that flashing that's when i was doing it in super cold temperatures so i'm pretty sure none of it actually properly stuck down so i think that's it for this video thanks for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and as always i will see you tomorrow in a bit